clean girl. Free clean girl, I swear they use this, so. Best smelling body wash. Okay guys, I'm interrupting today's video. Don't worry, we'll get back into it. But I just wanted to give a big thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video. So I've been honestly wanting to learn Portuguese for such a long time now. It's because I'm Portuguese and I can finally learn it. All thanks to Babbel. So when you sign up for Babbel, you can choose a subscription to just the Babbel app, which lets you learn at your own pace and includes app-based lessons, games, podcasts, and videos. Or you can choose Babbel Live, which gives you everything that you learn in the app, plus online classes with amazing language teachers. So the fastest way to learn a language is to actually speak it. And Babbel Live gives you a safe, helpful environment where you can have real conversations with people while getting feedback from amazing language teachers so all their teachers are amazing they're highly qualified educators and they're really good with newbies like they have a lot of patience each class that they have is limited to six students so you don't need to worry about having an overcrowded class where you can't ask questions and everything like that so there are classes available at any day at any time so you can choose what works best with your schedule and it's also a lot cheaper and less stressful than actually leaving the house to go to a school to learn because you can do it literally all from online and they do also have a 20 day money back guarantee. So I personally prefer to go through Babbel Live because it's just the fastest way of learning. And since you get to speak it, it's more interactive. It is a bigger investment, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. But if you guys don't want to start with like the online courses and verbally speaking, you can always just sign up for the regular Babbel and use the app or the website. And that's also great as well. So for a limited time only, Babbel is offering you guys 40% off to a subscription to Babbel Live and the Babbel app. So if you guys click the link down below, then you guys can get the discount. So anyways, thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring this video. Hello you guys, and welcome to today's video. So, a little montage was just me um, transforming myself into a clean girl. So if you don't know what the clean girl trend is, it's basically a trend on like Pinterest, I guess, and TikTok. And it's honestly just for fun. Like I'm just doing this for fun. This is not saying that you have to act and look like a clean girl. Like I'm honestly just doing this for fun because when I saw that trend, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love the hairstyle and I love how just like sleek clean girl look is. So I'm like, why don't I do a video trying it out and being a clean girl for a day? So basically being a clean girl is like having your hair sleeked up. I actually put it in a rosemary water hair mask before putting it up. So that's why my hair kind of looked wet while I was doing my makeup. And then I just added oil and I did like the Bella Hadid hairstyle. I tried my best. Honestly, it's really hard and I didn't have gel. I was just using like oil. So it's honestly kind of hard and I would recommend doing it on like greasy hair because my hair was greasy as well. But this is how it turned out and I'm kind of proud. It took me a long time, but it looks really, really, really cute. And it's very like model off duty. So it's basically sleek. Um, you're just like, you smell good. <laughs> you have a sleek hairstyle. 
and I'm just gonna be doing things today that I would think a clean girl like that fits within the clean girl aesthetic and we're gonna be a little clean aesthetic girl for the day just for fun we're trying it out but anyways I did a really light makeup look because that fits in like the clean girl aesthetic so I made sure to keep my makeup dewy added like a lot of dewy highlighter and didn't put much powder to like make it matte but anyway so now that the hair and the makeup is done we're gonna get into a cute outfit and then we're gonna go run some errands for the day let's do it okay it's time to pick out a outfit i think i know what i want to do i'm gonna do jeans and a baggy t-shirt with like a cute little shoulder bag because i feel like that is one of the outfits that i just like correlate with this aesthetic so that's what we're gonna do i just actually did a load of laundry so we got some fresh clean clothes i'm gonna go with these jeans i got them so long ago but they're super baggy and then i'm gonna pair it with this t-shirt this is actually my sister's but it's so cute so sorry madison but we're stealing this it says bitch on the back and i just love the vibe of this shirt so it's gonna be the fit okay so before we get going i have to spray a perfume i honestly don't own a full perfume bottle i literally just have like a million tiny samples that i got from sephora and i've just been using those whenever i want to wear perfume so that's what we're gonna use today i'm gonna see if they have like at the stores that i go to i'm gonna see if they have like a nice like body spray that i can buy because honestly i just want like a really light body spray that i can just like spray on myself whenever and it's not like as strong as perfume because the perfumes that i have are like pretty strong which i like to use while going out but it's not really like an everyday thing for me but today it's a clean girl aesthetic so we're putting on perfume okay i'm just spraying on this tiny mark jacob ones it's honestly like really nice giving yourself self-care days i feel like everything that i'm doing is kind of self-care like doing my hair did my makeup put on a cute outfit that made me feel good and a lot of these trends i feel like just can be like really toxic um because it's giving like false expectations of how you're supposed to be I don't think that like just because people are doing this like that's what you have to do as well do it if you want to do it like i'm doing this because i generally want to do it and it's fun so make sure that like if you ever want to like do these trends or interpret like clean girl aesthetic or whatever you're kind of ta tailoring it to yourself and what makes you happy and also don't think that you have to look like that and do those things every single day because like literally yesterday i looked like a liberal hobo like i was disgusting so you know what i mean it's like it's the balance okay it's just balance and don't put false expectations on yourself to do it every single day because that's just not realistic and nobody does it every day like as much as you see on tiktok or youtube or people's perfect lives like they're not perfect it's really it's fake it's a lie and it doesn't happen every day so never hold yourself to those unrealistic um expectations of social media okay i just got dressed this is my clean girl aesthetic fit these jeans are from Shein. I literally got them so long ago. This is merch from Lennon Stella that my sister got at a concert. And these are just my Air Forces. And this purse is thrifted. So that is my cute little fit. I added some gold rings because in the clean girl aesthetic, you just have to be wearing some sort of cute jewelry. So that is what I put on. I'm honestly feeling really just like fresh to be honest like whenever I have my hair especially up like this and, and I'm just wearing like minimal makeup it makes me feel really good about myself honestly and it makes me feel a lot more confident than wearing like a shitload of makeup if that makes sense. I just love wearing minimal basically like a no makeup makeup look is always my favorite to do and having my hair up like this when it's greasy is perfect because when i wear my hair down and if it's like greasy it'll make me really mad i don't know if that's just me but greasy hair just puts me in a bad mood if i'm wearing it down so having it up like this just has it out of my face it has oil in it anyways so i don't need to worry about it and it's just cute you know it doesn't matter we're gonna go out to do some errands because tonight i want to do some like face masks i want to get some like scrubs because clean girls need to smell good and they need to feel good so we're gonna go get some self-care products probably gonna go pick up a starbucks as well um but yeah okay so i just got to walmart and i'm just gonna shop for some scrubs skin scrubs you know and then i'm going to go to chapters because it's all kind of in the same area i'm going to get a book there and then just look around i just love chapters okay it's just so calming to me and i swear i can shop there for probably like two hours and not even notice the time fly by and then i'm gonna go to starbucks and i'm gonna get myself a coffee or like a latte because i haven't had a coffee today and it is already like two o'clock so i am due for one and i want the energy because this is like when i hit my like midday slump let's go
I just got back from shopping and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a car haul. I had a Starbucks. I already drank it though because it was so freaking good. Um, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys a little clean girl product haul, okay? First um, thing that I got is this book by Colleen Hoover. It's called Your Perfects. And basically any book that she writes I will read because she is such a good author so I can't wait to start this tonight. Colleen Hoover is just so good and if you guys are looking for like books to read or you want to get back into reading I would highly suggest reading any one of her books because they're super easy reads and they're just so intriguing and entertaining and it's one of those books where you just can't put down. Like never met anybody to this day who has read a Colleen Hoover book and who has not liked it. I bought Joel's sister a Colleen Hoover book for Christmas and ever since then she has been reading her and she loves it so i'm putting you on it <laughs> right now and she went like super viral on tiktok as well so yeah trust me if you guys want a good book or you want to get into reading colleen hoover um specifically her favorite book that i've read so far it's called it ends with us and it's just so good okay anyways so i got that and then i also got these two shampoos and these are renew and refresh and rebalance they're from pantene they're the sulfate free ones and i got the rosemary because as you guys know um i've been trying to incorporate rosemary into like my routine so i've been doing like a rosemary hair mask before washing my hair that's actually i have that in right now um it's like a rinse but i thought that i would try the shampoo with rosemary in it so that i'm getting it at every angle that i can and it smells really good and the packaging is just really cute so i was like why not next thing i got is this got to be gel so that i can really get that sleek snatch clean girl look so i'm going to be adding this to my hair when i get home this is like a really popular gel so i decided to pick it up because every clean girl i swear they use this so and then last but not least i just got this dove brown sugar and coconut butter scrub because i don't have any body body exfoliant at my house so this one smells really good and we're gonna be nice clean and exfoliated ladies and gentlemen so now i'm just gonna head home and yeah i'll see you guys there i'm so happy it's sunny it's literally so beautiful so thankful i'm here with julia and we are about to go shopping because i'm in need of just like or we're actually both in need of just like basics little basic t-shirts um basic like long sleeves like crop shirts and like full length just basic everything mm -hmm. just, i did get a couple t-shirts from h&m like the other day but then two of them didn't fit and like they were see-through so i returned them so we're on the hunt we're probably gonna go to like zara we're in like a really big mall right now we're gonna go to zara um there's h&m H &M, forever 21's in here and just like scope out some nice basics and i'm just honestly really bored of my shit right now like I just like all my clothes are old. Yeah, I just like I'm so bored of my clothing and it's really hard to like make an outfit. And I know that sounds so like mean, like I don't have any clothes, but like I just like need a little refresh in my wardrobe. So. Okay, we're currently at Garage. I'm just trying on this orange little top. I really like it, but like I don't know. It would be more for like going out. But I don't know, it just might be like too like small. I mean, it is kind of a vibe, but I don't know how I feel about it. Don't think I'm gonna do it. We did some damage at H&M here. I got like a few things, mostly like t-shirts and stuff. So I'll show you guys when we get home. But we're just still shopping around. Probably gonna be here for about another hour. My hair is holding up pretty nice after putting on like stuff over my head. So I'm kind of surprised about that because I did add the gel to it when I got home. But it's still looking pretty good. And I can't wait to do like the self care and everything once we get home because that's gonna be really fun. A good new nice face mask, take a shower, use the new shampoos and stuff. So excited for that. We're currently in TNA and like Aritzia, this is like the worst stores of our lives because everything is so expensive and way too tempting. Julia just found these trucker hats. And like this would be such a vibe for the summer. There's that one and then there's a black one as well. I kind of like the black one better. Yeah. Like in general, you know what I mean? I hate this freaking thing. It's hard to tell. It's sticking out. But it like looks so they cute. Like I just feel like trucker hats. Are they called trucker hats? Yeah, trucker hats. Trucker hats for the summer is just gonna be like it's just gonna be the thing. I feel like, and I just like I feel like they're all gonna be sold out by the time summer comes around. I've know. been wanting one for so long that like I, I remember you talking about it last summer. Yeah. <laughs> 
You guys, don't you just wish sometimes that you can have like a limited amount of money to go to Aritzia and just buy whatever you want because this is me right now. It's like I need to be smart with my money because we're adulting now, but like it's just so hard when you come in store and you just fall in love with everything. Okay, you guys, I am back from the mall with Julia and I just thought that I would lay out the clothing and kind of give you a little haul like this because to be honest, I'm too lazy to try everything on right now. <laughs> Honestly, because I want to get into our self-care for the night. So this is going to be the little haul. So this is from Zara. I just like... Like, am in love with the neckline and this is just really basic i can wear this with a pair of jeans and a cute bag and i can just see myself literally wearing this a lot in the summer so this is definitely going to be a staple for me i got this pack of two shirts at h&m it's just a plain basic white t-shirt and then it came in a pack with this one which is like black lining and i just think that this is so freaking cute so got that from h&m also everything that i got from h&m has like this green tag on it so it's a lot more sustainable and made with recycled materials so it makes me feel better and i just got this plain gray tank top because i don't have like a gray just staple plain tank top i got this hoodie and i just love the coloring on it and i've just been wanting some like new fresh hoodies lately and then i got this just like this play gray crew neck that is like really nice fitting because i do have a gray crew neck but it's like pretty big and it's just oversized which i like but sometimes i want something more fitted so i really like the shade of gray and yeah it's just really cute and then i got this shirt it was on sale for like three dollars and i just found it so cute like this paired with like a pair of jean shorts in the summer i just feel like that would be super cute so yeah that's a little haul everything is from h&m except for this i just got that from zara but yeah so cute okay i just put on a face mask i did this one by the brand blue it is a illuminating seaweed clay mask enriched with natural canadian oceanic clay this is not sponsored but i did do a sponsorship with them like a while ago and i have a ton of their face masks and i genuinely love them so much and they feel so good and clarifying so i got that on my hair is honestly kind of getting messed up like the sleek look i did add gel in it before but i feel like i just need to put gel in it from the beginning to make it last all day so if you guys are planning on doing this hairstyle make sure you add a little bit of gel if you're going to be wearing it like all day because it did not hold that well for me like it's fine but like it just like i guess i was also trying a lot of stuff on too in the mall so i was putting like things over my head so that probably made it like kind of go a little crazy but it definitely looked better at the beginning of the day but anyways the gel really helped and the gel was only like six dollars for the bottle so it was really cheap and it's like a literal full bottle of gel which is nice so this is the vibe for tonight i'm so excited i'm gonna use my new shower scrub and we're going to get all clean and then we're going to read in bed. I'm so excited. I actually really like this clean girl aesthetic. Like it's been fun living it for the day. I honestly just really, really like this sleek back hairstyle. Um, I think it's like Bella Hadid's hairstyle. I really like it. I feel like this hairstyle is perfect to wear with like baggy things. Like if you wore it with like a baggy sweatshirt, like a crew neck, a baggy shirt. I just feel like having your hair up in those situations with like cute earrings. It just makes it a look like it's just a look um you guys i bought this method citrus ginger energy boost body wash and when i tell you it doesn't just have cute packaging but it is, it is like genuinely the best smelling body wash i've ever smelled in my life like i wasn't going to buy it at first and i smelled it like that is probably my favorite scent in the whole world in terms of like body washes like i literally want to bathe in this stuff it smells so good i really hope that it doesn't like wash off when i rinse it off i hope it like the the scent stays because it smells just so good like if you ever come across this in a store please go and smell it you won't regret it it's just the best smelling thing ever i'm not kidding you i was when i picked this up in the store and i smelled it I was like, holy shit, this smells so good, except for it smells like ginger, like, ew, but no. So good, 10 out of 10 would recommend to go smell it, so, or buy it, I'm, I'll let you know how it is, but so excited for that. I can use that in the shower, because I haven't even used it yet, it's like brand new. I'm going to use this moisturizer when I come out, and I got this at Walmart last time that I went. It's Lavender Honey Calming Body Lotion, and I really, really like it. Would recommend this as well. Oh, also, this mouthwash that I bought the other day. Um, I showed this in a video, I think, but review on this. It's really good. It makes your breath actually smell good when you wake up. I feel like no one's breath smells good when they wake up, but this definitely helps. So 
Um, if you have some stinky breath or if you just want to freshen it up, I would definitely suggest trying that too because it actually like works and it's it actually like feels really good. Face mask is already dry, so we're gonna hop in the shower and wash my hair finally. It's been sitting in like this oil and shit all day. I'm so excited to wash it and just get all clean and then we're gonna read in bed. I'm actually so excited for this. <laughs> just made knock coffee this is an adaptogen drink it honestly tastes like kind of like hot chocolate because it has cocoa powder in it but it's basically a blend of like functional mushrooms and cocoa powder and functional mushrooms have so many benefits like reducing stress reducing your risk of cancer just so many amazing benefits and they also can give you energy and everything so I make sure to incorporate adaptogens into my everyday life just because I know that they're super healthy for you and you guys can do your own research if you want. But this drink is just so yummy and it's like my nighttime tea or drink that I love making myself every single night. It just ends off my night with something healthy but still so delicious. So another 10 would recommend. I will link this in the description. <laughs> So that was my interpretation on the clean girl aesthetic and I tried to do my best. I mean, I feel like I did live that aesthetic today and am I going to be living it tomorrow? Probably not just because that's unrealistic to keep up with. <laughs> Honestly, I feel so good. Like after using that nice body wash, washing my hair, I really did like that shampoo and it smells really good. Um, after using all of that and cleaning, like doing that face mask, like I honestly feel so fresh. Like, you know that feeling after you just like self pamper yourself and you feel so good? That is how I feel right now and it just feels really good. So anyways, moral of the story is just give yourself some self love and self pamper. Um, I can't wait to finish that book because I'm already intrigued and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I never do this, but go follow my Instagram because I never really plug it, but I'm plugging it right now. So go follow it. It's always in the description box. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my interpretation of a little clean girl aesthetic. And it was really fun to film. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.